Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to use remove.bg with BreezeFX. Now, this is a new way of doing remove.bg, and it doesn't change any of the existing ways you've been able to do it through DSLR Remote Pro or Breeze Booth for iPad. Uh, it just simplifies things a lot and allows you to use your existing BreezeFX credits. Uh, let's jump in and have a look how you do it. Um, so we'll create a new FX config, and we'll give it a name of remove.bg, uh, just to keep it nice and obvious. And we'll give it a token name of remove as well. And then the type will be remove.bg. Okay, so once we've got that, we can go ahead and hit create. All right, and we'll just copy the URL. And then we'll jump into DSLR Remote Pro. And we want to go into our advanced settings, uh, output settings, uh, post process photos, we'll enable that settings and web based and we'll paste in that url and we also need to make sure we've got our fx password in there which you can grab from the uh, account settings on your fx uh, page so we'll okay that okay that have a quick look at our print layout now i just uh, keep it nice and simple i've just put a pink background in just so we can see uh, the change so we'll go ahead and take a photo And there we go, we've got our results. So remove.bg running through BreezeFX. Now what we could also do, if you don't wanna be sending up full size images, we can uh, use smaller versions. And to do that, we would go into advanced settings, output settings, post process, and we can set the maximum width of the image here. So we could make that, for example, a thousand. We'll okay that. And we'll just run another session through. Okay, so we'll let that process. Okay, and it's processed a lot quicker because we've sent up a much smaller file size. Uh, so the result will probably be a little bit uh, low res uh, for this print, but if you need speed, you can shrink uh, the file down to whatever size you need. Now, if we want to do this for Breeze Booth for iPad, the process is really uh, quite similar. So we just need to grab that um, same URL from our FX account. Uh, we would then jump into our event editor um, I'm just going to use an existing event here, Super Fun Party, and I'm going to go to Advanced Settings, come into my event, uh, go to Photos, and I'm going to enable Post Processing URL, and I'm going to post that same URL in, uh, put my integration password in. Okay, and we can set that, say, to 1000 as well. And we'll go into our print layout, and just to make it obvious, again, we'll just set a, um, we'll go for that same pink. Okay, so we've got a pink background. We'll okay all of that. And then what we want to do is jump over to our iPad. And I've got my super fun party here. So I'll just update this event. Okay. We'll run that. See how we go. Okay, so there you go. So we've also done that on Breeze Booth for iPad and that's processed really quick because once again, we've just sort of downsized that to a thousand pixels. So if you're looking for an easy way to sort of uh, work with uh, remove.bg, Breeze FX is a great way to do it. There are some other benefits because you can use uh, tokens to have different FX processes run on different photos in your capture, uh, in your session rather. So you may want remove.bg running on the second photo, but you might want an AI face swap on the first photo. So it does open up some interesting opportunities and it just makes it a little bit easier to work with, plus to get to use your existing Breeze FX uh, credits. If you have any questions, uh, jump to the comments and let me know.